Hey guys, what's up? Bisectron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with that uh, video I promised, recapping the scrimmage in One Hive Genesis against the Goodfellas. They were going for their 200th win, and as you can see, we brought them to a halt right here. I think they had like a 40 uh, win streak going on, so uh, they were doing very well, and shout out to them. They were a great clan. Uh, gave us a pretty good fight, but uh, they struggled with some of our bases, and this was all Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 8. Uh, mostly Town Hall 9, and you can see they left quite a few of the Town Hall 9s 2 starred, um, and then obviously got all the 8s 3 starred, but uh, probably not used to seeing the really uh, anti 3 star bases because a lot of times if you don't do a ranged wars that often, I don't know how often they do it, but if you don't do it that often, you can get used to some of the anti 2 bases and it makes it hard to adjust. Uh, but we were definitely ready and we brought a perfect war, uh, got everything 3 starred, so. Uh, nice job to everyone at One Half Genesis and also the good fellas. Uh, it was a fun war to be in. I was in it and had some fun playing the attacks and watching them. Uh, anyway, though, we're going to look at a number of attacks today, like I promised, and starting with number one, G Wag, um, on the top guy. Very smooth attack up here. Uh, just going to start off with a queen walk, so it drops a wizard. Just going to break the funnel right there. A um, few archers just to get some of that uh, hit points out of the way. Uh, on these builder huts and stuff, and then comes in with the queen. Uh, basically, just a queen walk to the left. Uh, nowhere for her to go to the right. That wizard tower is not going to pull her. She's definitely going down to the bottom. So good funnel there, just on that army camp. Uh, like I said, army camps are great ways to break the funnel because they're so big. It really clears out a lot of space and forces your queen into one direction. So uh, you can see she's making her way to the bottom here. She's going to have to deal with some hit points uh, by the queen, uh, but she'll get through it. Level 30 does a lot of damage. Goes ahead and drops the poison, which I like. You know, able to bring two poisons with that extra spell from the update. So it goes ahead and drops one on the queen. Uh, I doesn't necessarily need that rage there, but better safe than sorry. The queen probably could have taken care of the uh, defensive queen because she's in the poison. She's not shooting as fast. Uh, but it drops the rage anyway. Uh, no big deal. Just better safe than sorry. Then comes in with a golem here. The archers already created that funnel, uh, so great job there. Going ahead and, and if, if you can go ahead and get um, part of your attack done with less troop space just by starting at the very beginning, that's a great way to do it. So you don't have to waste wizards. Just get a few archers down if you're going to do a queen walk. So the funnel's already created when you're ready to go, and doesn't have to bring any wizards for the funnel. And part of the reason that's uh, so great is because there's a lava hound in the CC. And you don't want to bring wizards because uh, you don't want to pop that. You want it just to be uh, flying around because it does very little damage. You don't want the lava pups to come out and start attacking your troops. So it doesn't have to bring any wizards, just a few archers on the funnel. That's great. Um, queen taking out a huge section of the space. Uh, you can see how much she's really gotten, a lot of percentage, a lot of defenses. And then um, by the time the hogs are coming in, this base is pretty much already done. Uh, just that one compartment up there really to take care of. And he dropped a few hogs at the bottom just to get that Tesla and stuff out of the way. Uh, but the king's doing tanking, which is awesome. That lava hound stuck on the golem, so it's not going to be an issue. And then he can go ahead and drop those queen, uh, cleanup wizards in just a moment. A heal spell in the bag. Uh, awesome attack. Goes ahead and drops it, but doesn't need it. And then uh, it'll just be clean up from here. Dropping the wizards. Great job to G-Wag. I love the archers on the funnel. That was awesome. Not wasting any wizards, not taking a chance at popping that lava hound, so great job. Um, number four is the next one, 007, doing a... Oops, did I get this wrong? Sorry about that. Oh yeah, we want to look at number three. Sorry, I wrote the wrong base down. Karim uh, taking on number three with a nice, just back to the basics, uh, cold-blooded Golaloon. And uh, just bring in one golem, and just gonna go in, take out the queen, get an air defense, and then he knows that with his four lava hounds, 16 balloons, and then a few spells, that's gonna be enough to take out the rest of the space. So kind of an old-fashioned, you don't see this quite as much, but um, this guy left the air defense too close to the queen, so goes in and gets both. And then a nice little touch here is that the queen actually doesn't go in with the kill squad, the queen's going off to the bottom to get that other air defense. So kind of sneaky there. I forgot to say that he gets two air defenses, um, dropping the poison on the two poisons on the dragon. So it's pretty much almost dead by the time it gets to the queen. Just needs one more shot, and then she's gonna get that air defense as well. So 
Um, great job realizing he doesn't need to bring the queen uh, to get the the enemy queen in that one air defense. He can make her walk to the bottom and get that other air defense. So great value for just the golem and the heroes, getting the two air defenses and the queen. And then it's pretty much over. This base is done. Uh, has way more lava hounds than he even needs. And plus has those haste spells and the rages. You can see how quickly the balloons are moving through the space. First air defense is about to go down and then has these lava hounds coming in on the back side for the second. Um, just crushed this base. Awesome job. And he also helped me plan one of my attacks that was kind of similar to this. Get another three star the, with a Golaloon. Uh, so just great war uh, in his attacks and helping other people. Uh, nice job. Uh, just last few bonus at the bottom. A little bit of a Tesla farm, but no big deal. There's a Lava Hound tanking. Has that rage. Uh, doesn't even drop it. Doesn't need to. The balloons are a little bit clumped up, but they're going to get to that Lava Hound in time, or to that Wizard Tower in time, and take it out before it can take them down. So uh, just crush this base, balloon the spare, uh, spell still left. Awesome job. All right, as this finishes up, I've got a few more to show, starting with number nine. Uh, here we go. Number nine, uh, Cotton Eye Joe, and he's doing a Go Ho Wee Wee, brings a few witches, which is always cool to see, and then uh, just a few healers for these golems, which I've been seeing a little bit more lately, uh, especially with all those air defenses at the bottom. Those healers are not going to be targeted by anything, so that 14 troop space is going to provide a lot of value uh, that heal effect will be on the kill squad pretty much the entire raid so drops down a healer on each golem and when the troops stack up it also gets the splash heal so it's going to heal a lot more than just the single golems uh, so good job uh, recognizing that and using the healers to uh, help the kill squad out and then make sure those compartments are cleared out so that way the wall breakers target the uh, main compartment with the queen inside of it uh, so good job there being patient so lets everything in and then has four witches, two in the CC, those level three witches, very effective on these bases. And then um, that poison's a little bit too far back. It's not going to really get the CC troops, but no big deal. Has the rage. Um, those healers in the rage are doing a lot of uh, work on his golems, getting them back to full health. Kill squad's really not been uh, damaged too much. And then has that jump to let everything into the base. Hogs are already starting in the left side. Just... Pretty much a two finger drop, has a few more left in the bag, and then he's gonna drop a heal in just a moment to keep them up. Being careful for any uh, giant bombs. You can see triggered a double set with his kill squad, and all four of those witches are still up on the right side, so getting great value for them. Uh, they're really providing a lot of tanking and stuff uh, for the hogs. Uh, Golem and King up on the left side, everything's shooting at those. Hogs are pretty much untouched, but goes ahead and drops that heal as they get in range of a few defenses, and that skelly trap's gonna pop, but he has the poison for it. Pops the Queen's ability, and this base is pretty much toast. Uh, a ton of troops up. You can see, look at those golems. Uh, neither one of them busted. I think about half health, so really getting value for those healers. They eventually went down, uh, but they kept his king, his queen, his golems up, and even the witches, which I think just went down, uh, but totally crushed the space. Has a ton of wizards left over, too. Um, nice job, Cotton Eye Joe, getting three star. All right, one more Town Hall 9, then we'll go on to a Town Hall 8. Uh, we're looking at number all the way down at 21. Uh, right here, Infinite Chaos, taking on 21. Um, had to show this because uh, I helped him plan his first attack, which was a fail, and it was pretty much my plan. So I felt a little bit guilty, so I'm going to go ahead and show his 3-star, which I believe is his plan, so... Uh, nice job on this one, but anyway, I like the balloons up top. It's a nice trade on the archer tower. Lets them create the funnel a little bit better, and then has the funnel on the bottom. Able to take out some of those Teslas. I like a few hogs sprinkled in there. Uh, that's basically going to let uh, the hogs take out the distracted point defense. Those Teslas, all that stuff down there, because there's a mini Tesla farm down there. Uh, so everything's cleared out now. Funnel's created. Uh, Lava Hound in the CC, and does have the queen there and a few wizards. So it is going to bust, but it's not going to distract for that long. Uh, pretty much already dead. And then has the jump spell to let the king get to the queen and basically let everything keep moving through the base um, and get to the, some of those double giant bomb spots. Has quite a few hogs, so needs to make sure uh, that he doesn't make too much bacon with them, doesn't get them blown up. Uh, but 
I like that the poison spell is a little bit late, but it's always hard to drop poisons when you're in the heat of battle and you don't know what's going to be in the CC. But it does a good job. It gets the lava pups taken care of and a few skelly traps, I think. Uh, so good job with the poisons. Now just coming in with the surgical hogs. He does have 26 hogs, so he can afford to lose a few. And right here, he does hit kind of a weird double giant bomb spot, uh, diagonal kind of. So those hogs are toast, but if you don't invest all your hogs into one group, sometimes that can happen. You can get a uh, three star anyway, because he still has a handful of hogs. I think like 10 or 12 hogs that were in that group and also has a heal for them. So they're going to be able to take out the rest of the base. Sometimes you have to hit those double giant bomb spots, uh, but don't invest all your hogs in them. So that way you have a few for the rest of the base. And even hitting that uh, double set, he still has about six or seven hogs up. Uh, so no big deal there. Gets the job done pretty easily. Um, awesome attack to infinite chaos. Nice job. Watch as he cleans this up. And then we're going to show one Town Hall 8. Alright. Going down here to number 24. Easy Mac. And most of these were just kind of uh, typical hog attacks that you see. But I wanted to show this one because it was an interesting uh, Go Lo Ho Va. Go Lo Vaho, I guess. Uh, bringing a little of everything, has Valks, Hogs, and quite a few Balloons. Uh, so nice, interesting attack here. Coming in with a few Hogs just to get the CC Lure. Takes out a defense, or gets that, that Archer Tower too, I think. So pretty good value for those Hogs, so it doesn't quite get that Archer Tower. Um, but gets the CC Lure out, brings it to the side here. Doesn't have a poison for it, so just has to deal with it with his um, troops. Doesn't have a poison. Uh, dropping a wizard down just to take out the archers and minions, I think. And then uh, dragging everything out to the side here. It's a typical CC kill that we used to see with the dragon and balloons. Um, basically dropping a few barbs in the, to distract the dragon and then wizards behind. Uh, not too hard of a CC to kill. Would have been a little bit more tricky if it was a witch or something. Uh, but not the case, just a dragon and a few other things. Goes ahead and drops that golem down. It's going to make its way all the way into the base and then has the king coming in and have the Valks in just a moment. There they go. Plus more Valks in the CC. So bring in, I think, seven Valks. And those level four Valks you can bring in the CC, those do a lot of damage uh, to the defenses and buildings in the area. So pretty powerful, especially if you use a heal on them. Those level four Valks are going to just wreck a Town Hall 8. So going to clear out that entire um, middle part of the base, getting all three air defenses. And now can just go ahead and drop in the balloons. Um, maybe a little bit early on those top balloons. They're going to go ahead and get shot down. But better early than late, I think. And he'll get the rest of these air defenses in just a moment. And now these balloons are safe. Um, can take out all these outside defenses. It's a nice uh, back-end balloon on a Valk attack. So always fun to see something different. Because almost always it's just a go-ho. Um, sometimes just hogs. So... Uh, nice variety at Town Hall 8 here, and you can see all these defenses going down very quickly. Cleanup's always a little bit tricky with balloons because they're so slow, but has a few Valks and a few Wizards left up, and they're going to go ahead and clean up the base. So we'll fast forward as that happens. Uh, great attack to Easy Mac. And that's going to do it for this recap video. Hope you enjoyed the arranged war. Always fun to be a part of, and I should have another one coming uh, this weekend if everything works out. So, um... Just a week later, should have another uh, video coming out from more arranged war attacks. Until then, uh, stay tuned for more during the week on the channel. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Drop a comment, tell me what you guys think of this video, and any suggestions, anything you want to see on my channel, because uh, I do see all the comments. So, uh, thanks guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sexatron out.